that number on the right side of your screen. Oh. Three consecutive upsets. They took down Sharif and Ahmed already in pool play, as you mentioned. And with that comes a little bit of freedom as we take a look at some numbers from Sharif, um, Sharif and Ahmed. Qatar and Ahmed Tijan will get things underway on the right side of the screen in red. On the left, Argentina in blue. And Nico Capagrosso just sneaking it. It was a huge factor yesterday. Never seen so many teams either hit the ball in the net, under the net, or standing shots. And that's already starting to pick up here as you see Ahmed Tijan go high line. And the, the note that we made last night after the quarterfinals was that Qatar made it look not windy. And that gives you not immunity to the wind, but it helps resist it just a bit. Nice left hand from Sharif. A little recycle here for Argentina. And Tomas Capagrosso. And some boos already from the crowd here against Argentina. Good high hand swing from Sharif. A great balance with each other. Overhead. Nico Capagrosso just tapping it over the high line. From Qatar. We didn't see many of that last night. Back to Tijon. This ball drifting a little inside. Nice effort, though. Stretches those go-go gadgets and hit the smart shot. Into the block. Capagrosso trying to go low line, but Sharif there with the stuff. I always came back to when I was coaching Betsy Flint and Julius Goals this year was just discipline. They're pretty much veterans on the Beach Pro Tour, and they play like that, and so they're going to push you to be so consistent. Any mistakes you make, they will take advantage. Here's a high pass from Nico Capagrosso off the face of Sharif. Another chance here for Argentina. That ball drifting inside. Pretty much a free ball from Ed Tijan, and he punishes. So we'll switch 10-4. Service pressure staying on Nico. Another tight set. Drifting over. Good hustle from Ahmed Tijan to keep that ball alive. Coming out of nowhere. And then the poke option goes down. And it's chaos on the court. But Qatar come up with another point. Down the line. Sharif dials up an ace. And they'll start calling him. And the boos continue to come for Argentina. Nice touch there from Tomas. But not high enough. So, so difficult to defend this Qatari team. And that serve dropping short. Nice set. No, it's not. It's an overset from Tomas. In a set. The second one goes the other direction. We're going to see if that holds true. Outside set. Off the block goes. In the middle. Ahmed going out wide. Little cut shot. Tomas is there with a dig. This set drifting inside and catching the tape and a perfect dig. Here's Qatar going behind and a little ricochet block off the hands of Nico Capagrosso. Sweetest blocks you can get when you're at the net. It's such a well-formed block. When you get the right hand to the left or vice versa. Option here from Sharif, the kick save from Nico Capagrosso, but out there with the kick save. 17-8. Tough serve down the middle. That's going to drop no way. Nico Capagrosso is going to get that one and possibly some energy conversation. You'll see Nico hugging the line when he's on this far side and Tomas creeping in. And it creates a tricky dynamic in the scene because Tomas is taking a much bigger scene than he otherwise would have. It's a nice... Good float serve, pushing Ahmed to his line. The soft poke goes down. It's the perfect play defensively, but too good. And we're already at set point here, 15 minutes in. 20 to 10. Qatar doubling up Argentina. Another over set, and it's a slam dunk. I expect one or two early points, a little scream, possibly from Tomas Capagrosso. Here's Tijan. And there's a block, and we get a scream from Nicholas Capagrosso. Fronting up and getting in his face, left hand in the seam, right hand down the line, beautifully formed block. And an ace. So back-to-back -back points, starting things off. Trouble on this pass. 
And a chance here. Nico going to bump this one up. It's a pretty good set. Tijon is there. Tomas with the pull dig, but it drifts. Nico Capagrosa, 29 years old, the older of the two brothers. Tomas just 22 years young, so a bright future ahead for both of these players as they begin to rise in the ranks. And rising up for the kill is Ahmed Tijon. And that's good veteran talk. Just sometimes being able to let the point go, move on to the next. And there's a pokey option from Sharif is dug. Another dig from Tijon. This one's got to come over. Tomas going to have a turn and transition, and he scores with a little spatchy deep into the angle. Ten points in. We've seen a handful. And the conditions not as swirly as they were last night. So some rare errors here from Qatar. That's not an error, though, from Ahmed as he spanks one. I believe he was frustrated himself and not Nico for jumping into the angle. He's saying, I should have just dug that with my hands. Tight pass. Nice set, though. Over line. There's the effort and speed from Ahmed Tijan and the thunder in transition. And now the Brazil fans awake for Qatar and Nico Capagrosso looking to silence the crowd with the soft line shots. That's why we're seeing so many of those on the far side of the court in Nico's case, the right side, run that back set. And then Ahmed typically running back set to the other way. 1.25. Seven all on the switch. A good middle serve, getting both Argentina players to collapse into the middle and then oh a little Sweden behind the back from Nico Capagrosso. <laughs> Nico's hitting significantly smarter shots on offense in this second set. He's just taking what the defense is giving him that high line. Ball heading over the way of Sharif. Hasn't had too many side out opportunities. <laughs> over to his right. Keeps that left hand strong in the seam. Look at that double shuffle. Left hand strong in the seam. That is beautiful. And a handful of missed serves. 18 points into set number two for Qatar. Sharif with the soft cut shot. Full layout from Tomas. That line shot not good enough. Tomas getting stuck at the net. No problem. I met Dijon rising over. Three, four, five point lead right now, but they're just struggling a little bit to convert and transition. But the good news is they're getting the opportunity. Back to Nico smartly. This time, no miss there, and the sprinting. I met Dijon. Zero broad jump to it. He's almost jumping backwards and still hits a phenomenal swing down the line. Good serve into the corner. A little bit of trouble here for Argentina. Tomas getting stuck up at the net, and then confusion. Both Argentina players pulling into the angle. To get used as a tool, and then Ahmed. Scoring from Jao Pessoa. What a legendary place and an epic place to play beach volleyball. A ton of history. A ton of history on the beach court as well. Here comes Qatar. Argentina would really love a side out here, but it's going to be a perfect one-handed scoop from Ahmed. Oh, it's too tight. And Tomas getting stuck in the net again, but this time takes advantage. Reminder for fans at home, Qatar winning that first set, 21 to 10. Looking to close this one out in two. A little bit of tempo, nice cover from Tomas. The cut shot, guess who's there? Ahmed Tijan, and a perfect option dig. And Sharif cleans it up. Jump served on the line. Nico from a little off the net. Ahmed Tijan with a big scoop. It's going to stay in play. Free ball here for Argentina. A little bit of trouble. Another dig for Tijan. He's going to put this one away. He cannot. And Sharif's going to have a turn in transition. Oh, my. Good pass from Tomas. The set drifting a little bit wide, and drifting also is Sharif for another block. No need to move. Unreal. Unreal stuff here from Qatar. They now have match point number one, up 20 to 13. It's going to end with a trickle ace. What a run here in the second. Qatar. Scooping, delivering, Sharif serving and blocking.
Unbelievable.